Surrey, England, September 2002. Life for some people in this leafy, serene county is about to take an unusual, fateful twist. Meet well-respected couple about town, Helena and Rory DeVoe. I'd been preparing all day a dinner party. My husband, Rory, he'd um, invited his boss. Well, uh, Helena had got it into her head that it would be a good idea to invite George along as it may help my promotional prospects within the, the company. The caterers descend on Helena's kitchen with all the raw ingredients needed to prepare a gourmet meal. They would uh, come to your house and prepare it there rather than just turn up pre-cooked and heat the stuff up. It seemed like an excellent idea, really. I get the caterers in and uh, the menu looked uh, actually quite uh, appetizing. Meanwhile, Rory busies himself with some do-it-yourself car maintenance. It turns out to be really poor judgment and bad timing. He is about to mix something in the kitchen blender that is a pure recipe for disaster. A special concoction of coolant for his car's radiator. See, the trouble is you can't just pour them into the tank together because one sort of lays on top of the other, a bit like oil and water. So you have to, basically it's all in the blending. Helena DeVoe, not impressed with her husband's timing, kicks him out of the crowded kitchen. But she's made a terrible mistake. She's left a liquid time bomb on the counter. Food preparation continues, and when Helena returns from getting her hair done for the occasion, no one notices the family cat helping itself to one of the specially prepared dishes, the salmon mousse. Helena quickly puts the cat outside, but it's too late. It has already eaten a portion of the dish. Determined not to let spoiled mousse spoil the evening, she simply smooths off the bite marks and puts the mousse back on the menu. And as the guests sit down to dinner, no one suspects anything's wrong. Oh, well, the meal was mm. going along swimmingly. Very well, actually. At the same time the guests are tucking into dessert, the housekeeper makes a gruesome discovery on the lawn. The family cat is dead. Well, my first thought was, oh, my God. It's the salmon mousse. And then that's when the penny dropped. The mixer. The remote possibility that the remains of the antifreeze made its way into the salmon mousse via the blender became a distinct possibility. Even small quantities of the liquid can be lethal. Meet toxicologist Dr. Miria Glass. Antifreeze contains ethylene glycol which, when metabolized by the liver, produces toxic products such as aldehydes and glycolates. When these toxins accumulate, the liver shuts down, which can lead to multi-organ failure. Heart failure, respiratory failure, kidney failure is fatal to humans. The DeVos have no choice but to tell their guests they've just been poisoned by the lethal salmon moose. An embarrassing acknowledgement quickly turns into a medical emergency and the next destination is the closest possible hospital. Each guest undergoes a gastric lavage. Their stomachs are pumped to rid themselves of the poison. Meanwhile, in the hospital lab, the salmon mousse is tested, but no trace of poisonous antifreeze is found. A medical mystery unfolds. If the salmon mousse didn't kill the cat, what did? The awful truth soon comes out. After we'd returned from the hospital, one of our neighbours came and um, said that um, it wasn't the salmon mousse at all. Their neighbour had laid out rat poison in their garage, and she saw the cat staggering out of there that afternoon. The mystery moose puzzle is solved. Crisis averted. No one has been poisoned, but Rory is angry with his neighbour. The thing that really annoyed me was <laughs> she didn't want to come in and tell us straight away because she could see we were having so much fun and thought she'd leave it till later. Helena blames the unfortunate series of events for Rory's stall and climbing the corporate ladder. To this day, I swear it was the whole stomach pumping incident that um, cost Rory a promotion. Absolutely. 
So, could this have happened? Could a strange set of circumstances come together at the right moment to create a medical emergency? Is it true? It's time to come clean on which one of the three legendary tales is true. Was the story of the antifreeze, the dead cat, the supposedly poisoned salmon moose, and the stomach pump dinner guests true? Well, no. The story of the poisoned pet has been around since the 1940s, and it simply refuses to lie down. Sometimes it's a dog that dies, sometimes it's a cat. Sometimes it's mushrooms that the unfortunate hostess cooks for dinner. Sometimes it's salmon moose. But no matter how this fishy tale is served up, it's just not true.